Welcome to the support videos for control and workload automation video series. In this video, we'll show you how to use the control shell feature to tell which viewpoint control and users are currently logged on to through their control and enterprise manager GUI client. First, we'll log into the control and configuration manager. I'll use my EM user to log in here. Once inside the control and configuration manager, we'll expand the control and enterprise manager or the EM components and find the GUI server on the list and right click on the GUI server and click on control shell. Control shell has many usages. You can click on the usage button to see all the available usages related to the GUI server through control shell. In this video, we'll be focusing on PVU. Let's select the PVU and click apply. As you can see here, there are currently zero viewpoints open in this environment. Now let's open an EM client and log in. Here we'll use user1 to log into this environment. Now that we're logged into the EM client, let's go into the monitoring domain here and open all active jobs. Let's switch back to the control and configuration manager and click apply again with the PVU selected in the command line. Now we can see the unique name of the viewpoint that's open, all active jobs, along with the name of the user, user1, and the internal user ID of this user who has this viewpoint open. We can also see that total viewpoint count right now in this environment that's open is one. Let's log into another EM client as second user, user2, and open one more viewpoint. This time we'll open the all jobs viewpoint. Now that we have the viewpoint open, let's switch back to the control and configuration manager and click apply button with the PVU selected to refresh this. Now that it's refreshed, you can see here the new viewpoint that user two has opened along with the all active jobs viewpoint. It has this unique name, all jobs, and the user internal user ID of the user too. And with both viewpoints open, the total viewpoint count in this that's open in this environment is two. This concludes our control and solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for your time and I hope you find this video helpful.